I, I recently looked up the word normal on the internet, and its definition read standard, usual, typical, expected, average, right? Nowadays, we'll say basic, right? And I thought, wow, the legacy of black human beings in this country has been anything but normal. As a matter of fact, it's our fight for normalcy that has defined us as African Americans, whether it's our battle for civil rights, the war for equality, our pursuit to be recognized as full-fledged human beings rather than three-fifths of one, our fight to create families, meaningful relationships, and to build a traceable and strong legacy. It seems that rather than normality, our history has been defined by our fight. Constantly amazed at what we have persevered through. When every odd has been strategically stacked against us, we continue to make strides at the risk of our own lives because at the core, at our core, we believe, we know, we're normal. We're people. God breathed human beings with hopes, dreams, full of love, anger, fears, pain, vulnerability, humanity, pride, universal emotions that any person in any part of the planet can identify with when communicated honestly. Yet somehow, the lie perpetrated has been, quite frankly, that we're subhuman you know, beasts that need to be tamed. It still persists at various levels. Uh, okay, there's a black man walking through a white neighborhood with a hoodie on, he needs to be tamed. Child playing in a park with something that looks like, a, nothing like a gun, but looks like a gun, needs to be tamed. A girl going to school with Afro puffs in her hair because her hair grows out of her scalp like that is unacceptable. She and her hair need to be tamed. Black president with an upstanding reputation is blocked at any turn by a government that should be working together to support him when he has the country's best interest at heart, but you know, black president, so he needs to be tamed. Black men and women throughout slavery had to marry illegally because their white owners knew the value of family and the power that the stability and a strong foundation possessed. So the auction block was a constant reminder that separation for many was imminent. It doesn't mean it didn't hurt. Doesn't mean we got used to it. it. Just means we had to fight to persevere. So I am grateful to accept this award on behalf of all the ordinary, extraordinary people who fought, died, prayed, sacrificed, and envisioned a day and a world where we would see and embrace the beautiful, unique, extraordinary, ordinary, normal selves. May the game forever be changed. Thank you.